In this video, I'm going to walk you through the workshop that we're showing how to do Power Platform integration. The directions I'm going to be going through are at aka.ms forward slash MBAS workshop. And the same directions with a complete um, set of pictures and all the steps I'm going through. So let's go ahead and go through those steps now. Opening up Power BI and using the accounts that I've already given you, go ahead and go to Workspaces and say Create New Workspace. Let's go ahead and give it the name MBAS1 or something like that. And we don't need to say any other settings. That's uh, actually enough. In this case, we want to go ahead and create the data set that we're going to use for our application. In this case, it's a streaming data set. So we're going to go ahead and say Skip to bring in the data. Skip. There we go. And we're going to choose Create. And we're going to go ahead and choose a streaming data set. We're going to choose the API uh, type of streaming data set. Hit Next. And we're going to call this one Scoreboard. And what do we want in our scoreboard data set? We probably want a score, and that's going to be of type number. And you're going to want to know who actually has gotten that scoreboard. And the same application, by the way, could be used for actually doing ratings or evaluations or any numerous types of uh, data collection. Uh, here at Microsoft, we actually go out and do evaluations for reports and dashboards using this technique. So uh, I want actually person, not number. And oh, I'm spelling person wrong, it looks like. Uh, what else do we want? Probably the date that this was entered in. And maybe if I'm actually doing this for reports, I would actually go out and have some text like report. Um, probably maybe even something like an email address. I don't know if those are in my directions, but we'll actually go ahead and grab email as well. Date, we want to go ahead and change to date time. At this point, let's go ahead and um, switch to historical data on, analysis to be on and choose create. At this point, I could go ahead and start pumping in the data through um, C Sharp or Curl or PowerShell. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and do it through a Power App and Flow. At this point, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our data sets. And we actually should have that data set. And we're going to go out and create a report so for we can go out and take a look at this particular data set. And let's go ahead and bring over score. And if it doesn't give us a column chart, which it did, uh, change it to column chart. And let's go ahead and have the axis be the person. And that's probably enough at this point. At this point, let's go ahead and pin that. Let's go ahead and call this one scoreboard report. And save the report. Oh, I thought we just did. Uh, scoreboard report. And say save and continue. Pen to dashboard. We want this to be a brand new dashboard. And this one's going to be the scoreboard dash board. Okay. Uh, it's going to actually prompt us to go there. We're actually not going to do that yet because what we want to do is actually start putting that data in there. So let's go ahead and dismiss this and bring in our Power Apps custom visual. So we're just going to go ahead and say import from marketplace. And going to search for Power Apps oh. and hit the search. Go ahead and choose Add. And that's going to give us this purple icon for the Power Apps custom visual. I'm going to go ahead and select that, bring in over another custom visual. And let's, let's take a look at these directions. It says, hey, we need to go ahead and select the fields we want to use. And then we're going to go ahead and add an existing app or create a new one. We're going to create a new one and then finally publish that. So let's go ahead and do those directions. So we want to go ahead and use the person and score. In this case, we're actually not going to filter on it, so it's not terribly important. Um, for those of you actually in my class doing this, you are going to want to change the environment to the premium demo tenant. Um, hopefully I did circle that in directions, but that's something that you're going to want to do. And we're going to go ahead and choose create new application. At this point, um, Power Apps is going to launch. It's going to go ahead and wire up us an application using a form or a gallery. In this case, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that stuff, and we're going to start from scratch. You can see it's actually doing that in the, the background. It's actually creating that gallery. Let's go ahead and 
just start from uh, with no data whatsoever. So when we want to uh, submit, actually, let's go ahead and put a rating control in there. And that's actually going to be how we host our score. So let's actually have it maybe 1 to 10. And the default would be something like 5. Okay, so that's actually how we're going to go out and give it a score. Uh, let's actually uh, submit this using a button. And we won't really want a big button because this is going to be a pretty big. And what else we need? We need to have um, some text because this is actually going to be who's going to um, be submitting this data uh, or who, who we actually want as a contestant. What else we want in there? Maybe a label to actually show the date that we're actually going to be submitting on. It's not terribly important. And let's go ahead and change that label now to be the date. So let's go ahead and say now, open print, close print. And that's good enough. Um, if I wanted to capture the email, I could do that. But I think our app's pretty much done. Well, it's not much of an app, but it's actually going to collect the day that we need. Um, maybe we put in something like put name here. You get the idea. Okay, now we need to take this data and put it into that da that streaming data set. So that way it shows up in the dashboard and it shows up in that report if we want it. The way we're going to do that is go to Action, Use Flows, and we're going to create a brand new flow. That's going to take us to Microsoft Flow. And it already wires it up to a Power App, so that's good, making it very, very easy for us. We're going to type in Power BI. There it is. And it says add rows to data set. Exactly the action we want. We're going to click that one. And it's going to ask, what is the name of your workspace? And I think we called it MBAS1. So we've got to scroll down. i got a whole bunch of these. And maybe I scrolled too far. There's my MBAS1. And our data set's called Scoreboard, I think. There it is. And the table is actually created for us automatically um, through the API called Real-Time Streaming. And then these are the fields. Hopefully that looks familiar. And what we're going to do is say Ask and Power Apps for every single one of those. So I need to say See More, Ask and Power Apps. Date is going to say See More, Ask and Power Apps. Reports, See More, Ask and Power Apps. Email is going to be See More, Ask and Power Apps. Done. Let's name it something cool like Scoreboard Flow and save it. Perfect. Uh, what do we need to do now? Oh, we need to go back here and uh, we're going to find our scoreboard flow. There it is. Since our button's already selected, what that's going to do is it's going to go out and give us those parameters that this flow needs. The first one is that score. So how are we going to get the score? We're going to use that rating control that I drug over, and it's called rating one, and we want to give it, or we want to pass the value. The next one looks like it's the person. So that was actually that text box, I think, is actually what we did, and we had a text input, or text input one, and we want to use the text property of that control. The next one's the date. Um, that was that label. We actually put it cast into that label and we want a dot text. And um, the report. Let's just ha hard code this to the scoreboard report. Obviously we, we could have grabbed something from a text box or whatever. And for the email, let's just go ahead and grab the email from the person that's running this. Um, so that way we'll know who's collecting this data. And we're done. So at this point, if we run it, we actually should see the data show up in our dashboard. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and save this. And we'll actually see it running in Power Apps or Power BI. So let's call this one Scoreboard 1. It will make it a lovely green. And we're going to say Save and Save. And if we, uh, actually it says to share the app, but since it's running as me, I think it will be okay. And what we should see loading up in this lovely green is us to put our name. Now we need to actually look at this through our dashboard if we want us to see real time. Um, otherwise we need to go out and do the refresh and actually have a video on that. So look at the other videos and you can see how I'm doing a refresh. Um, but in this case, what we're gonna do is go to my MBAS, Ooh, we want to save that, yes. And we want to go to our dashboard. And hopefully, oh, we didn't actually grab that re, um, that Power Apps visual and pin it. That's the step I did. So let's go ahead and go back in here. 
go to reports, go to, ooh, it looks like we have two of them. I wonder which one it was. Um, not that one. Of course, if you guess, you're going to get the wrong one. Let's do this one. Hopefully we actually have, there it is. And let's pin this to our dashboard. And there we go. And this time go to the dashboard and now we'll actually see this in action. Um, hopefully if we go out and give it 10 stars and we type in, uh, I don't know, Ted's actually going to be co-presenting with me. So we're going to type in Ted's name. Probably want it a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. Um, if we hit the button, what we should see is actually data showing up over here. Let's try. Oh, there it is. And let's say that Chuck, I, you know, I got it working the first try, so I'm going to give myself, what is that, a five or a six? And we should actually see Chuck over there. Um, Prathy is offering to help me, and we're actually doing a breakout on this. So let's give her a nine, because she's much better at this than usually than I. And who else actually was helping me? Oh, Daniel. Daniel actually helped me a little bit as well. So let's go out and give Daniel a 10 as well. And you can get, get the idea that I can collect almost anything. And in this case, we're actually doing a scoreboard application. I, I use these sort of apps all the time to go out and collect or update data. So thank you very much. My name is Charles Sterling, and I hope you enjoy Microsoft Business Application Summit.